it is time, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone else watching for the annual Johnny Blocks Q&A. Thank you for coming along. I didn't really know this was an annual tradition until I looked at when was the last time we did a Q&A, and it turns out we did one in 2020, we did one in 2021, now it's 2022. So I asked on Twitter, follow me at Johnny Blocks, by the way, for your questions, and let's just hop into it. Hit the like button, subscribe if you're brand new. Let's hop into the questions. What has been the biggest challenge during your time as a FNAF news channel? Well, <laughs> this is gonna sound, this, this answer is gonna sound stupid, but the biggest challenge being a FNAF news channel is that you're a FNAF news channel, which I know that sounds dumb, but number one, if there's no news, you don't have any content. That's kind of been uh, my main issue with it. I think over time I've slowly shifted into doing more stuff that's not just news, which I enjoy and I think you guys do too. But also the other annoying thing about news videos is that, you know, they slowly lose views over time. People don't watch a certain news video because it'll be old news. In fact, every single one of my FNAF news videos basically plateau in views after less than a week. So it's not really reliable content in, you know, to actually grow because they'll just plateau. Nice rhyming there. Let's move on. What's the best FNAF memory I've had? Oh god, there's been a lot. There's been a lot. It's mostly lead up to games. Back in the early days, unfortunately, it's kind of a... I can't remember it as smoothly as I used to, uh, because I'm getting old. But the build up to, like, FNAF 3, definitely FNAF 4, the teasers with FNAF World, sister location, uh, the lead up to Pizza Sim was not <laughs> as memorable because there was not a lead up at all. UCN is definitely a good a good memory. Uh, and I'd say definitely, definitely, definitely any games past like UCN and VR, uh, especially, especially Security Breach because those games, I was like an actual YouTuber for those and recording my initial reactions to the games is great. That's why I love my Security Breach playthrough so much. It's, it's because... I feel like that was the first time I was playing an official FNAF game that it felt like, you know, I was an actual YouTuber. Especially because Steel Wool was kind enough to, to give me an early copy. September! Let's go! Who's better, Funko or U2s? I think they each have their own qualities. Funko has been carrying and continues to carry the FNAF merchandise market. I think anyone who <laughs> tries to disagree with that is just wrong. They might not have quality like U2s does, and again, U2s is stupidly expensive, but I think they, they're each good in their own uh, areas. If I could have any FNAF character have a Hex plushie that hasn't been confirmed to have one, who would it be, including the fanverse? I think a Dreadbear Hex plushie makes sense because he's Frankenstein, you know, he's got all the stitching and, and ripped parts. The Withereds are also up there just because I would freaking I would love to see how they do the Withereds. Luckily, it does seem like Daka was very fixated on getting as many FNAF characters hex plushies as as they as they can, which is going to be amazing to see. Thought you've had time to play Fortnite recently, but uh, from what you've seen, how does it look? I definitely have not been playing as much as I used to, just because I've been a little busy. But I like it. I enjoy it. I'm usually someone who uh, isn't too negative on stuff, especially with Fortnite. I know a lot of people can love to crap on Fortnite all the time, but I'm enjoying it. I think this season's pretty hype. Very interested on the next season. Doubt it's going to be, oh no, it was confirmed it's not Marvel. So I'm hoping it's like a, um, a callback season where they bring back a bunch of old stuff. Sorry, FNAF fans. <laughs> I do enjoy other things, but I'll stop talking about Fortnite for now. If I could make a FNAF game, what would it be? This is an interesting question. I'm not a, a game developer, <laughs> so I don't know if I'm really educated enough to fully answer this question, but my most wanted FNAF game right now is a game with Fredbear's Family Diner. It's been eight years, <laughs> you know, how have we not had a Fredbear's game? I don't know. Um, if I could give an idea to Scott or the developers of FNAF, like, hey, what game should we make next? I would definitely, absolutely say Fredbear's. If I were to choose between FNAF AR getting a huge update or Lumix making a new FNAF game, what would you choose? i definitely choose a, a FNAF AR update. I don't know what new game Illumix could make besides like FNAF AR 2. Because they're an AR company, you know, they don't make like PC games, at least from my understanding of Illumix, you know, like FNAF AR is their only game. I'd say a huge update. There's still so much potential with that game. Unfortunately, it seems like it's just been dropped by Illumix. But like a huge update with the Withereds or, you know, literally any other group of characters they've not done because they haven't done really any or just another like dlc of like arcane mayhem i i swear that was leaked a little bit ago and they're still 
we have no news on that or really anything about the game. How many years do you think FNAF will be relevant for? I'll be honest, I think a couple of years ago, people would have said, oh yeah, FNAF's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be over soon. Especially because during that time we were getting stuff like, you know, UCN, VR Help Wanted, which seemed like good chapters to close the series on. UCN kind of brought the overall story to a close, and then VR was like, all right, here's just an extra VR game with a bunch of game modes like the old games put into VR. But with the resurgence of FNAF, with the release of Security Breach by Steel Wool, it's definitely going on for even more years to come. There's absolutely no way they don't capitalize on <laughs> the spike of popularity that FNAF has had and you look around you see all these amazing projects coming out of the um of the franchise now like the movie is finally making progress we're getting a real pizza delivery service at some point down the line apparently it's definitely going to be sticking with us for at least a couple more years what do I think of the Fazbear Frights and the Tales from the Pizzaplex books I've still not read any of them besides the first book Into the Pit I know summaries of most of the stories I've actually been keeping up a lot i'd say with some of the newer stories and tales they sound interesting um i definitely do love the idea of the new books connecting back to the pizzaplex in some way i think that's amazing i definitely don't think there should be as many as there are but you know i know some people enjoy them and i i don't know <laughs> i guess if they add anything anything to the franchise uh, you know they can stick around whatever how would you feel if the afton amalgamation appeared in the ruin dlc that's actually what I want to have happen in Ruin. I think it's a perfect setting. Everything's all run down, it's dark, it's creepy, it's mysterious. You know, a character like the Afton Amalgamation would be a great final boss. This is kind of something we touched upon earlier, but favorite moments in FNAF and favorite moments during the history of the channel. FNAF moments besides like build up to games, I'd say definitely the ending of Pizza, Pizza Sim. Beating 50-20 was nice. A lot of the early years was just amazing. Um, favorite uh, moments of the channel. I think it was when I hit 10k and I did a stream and all my friends came over. They had like cake and we pushed my head into the cake and then we just hung out after. That was amazing. That was a fantastic memory of the channel. Um, I guess also beating 50-20 kind of ties in with that. Getting on Game Theory was amazing. Talking with Daco, getting to know all those guys like Raz and, you know, um, cyst and, and vapor a bit. Speaking of, <laughs> speaking of the devil, approximately how, how many hours do I Roblox a day? I don't actually play Roblox anymore. I used to play it a lot when I was little, uh, but now I play manly games like FNAF. <laughs> Very important, coffee or tea? I hate coffee, so tea all the way. Who's my favorite character in the Cuphead show? I'm only answering this question because it's the hottest dog and also hottest dogs another person I appreciate getting to know better over the years. Keep it a stack, I've not finished season two. Uh, sorry. I like Mugman. He's funny. I'd be remiss not to mention Calamaria. King Dice is cool. I like, I like his wittiness. Great Toy Freddy out of 10. He's off the charts. He's a solid, you know, the results can't even be processed. He's all the way up. If I were to add a FNAF character into one game, games like Among Us, Fortnite, Fall Guys, Dead by Daylight, etc. What character would you add to and what game? Also, why? I would probably say Springtrap and Dead by Daylight. Just because I feel like that, it, it's a popular one. It's one that makes sense. It fits the theme of both games. I don't personally play Dead by Daylight, um, so if I had to pick a second option, it would definitely be probably Glamrock Freddy in Fortnite, just because that's another pretty popular one. It's one that would probably not be received well by both parties, but I think it would be hilarious. What's the one thing you want out of the FNAF movie? The one scene that you want in clean, uncensored detail. Definitely the go-to is stuff like the, um, the Springlock suit incident with Afton, the bite if they even show that, a night guard getting stuffed into like an actual suit with his eyes popping out and teeth showing in blood. I don't know, I think it could be a nice gore fest. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna go that dark in the movie. I, I think there's gonna be blood, obviously, but I don't think they're gonna go super, super gory with, with that type of stuff. Would you consider making a makeshift plush? Maybe. I'm personally not too big a fan of makeshift's uh, system of you need to sell this many plushies before the plushie even gets made. It seems like raising up hopes, and then if it doesn't get, you know, um, successfully, like, funded or whatever, you know, not enough people buy it and it doesn't get made, that seems really sad, so I just don't like that system. I'm also not really too big a fan of the whole, like, parasocial stuff they do on, like, Twitter and stuff, so maybe, I don't know, if we come up with a good plushie design, if they, if they reach out, they're like, hey, want to do a plush and we can make a good one? Maybe, but honestly, Probably not. Espe especially just because I'm so small. I'm so small of a creator that I don't think they'd reach out. Um, but if they're like, hey, we got some cool ideas, you know, like, let's make some cool ideas and we find a good one, 
Maybe. If there's anyone who you could collab with, who would it be and why? I don't know if it counts as a collab, but I've I've played a lot with some of the big big FNAF boys on unlike Daco's charity stream and stuff, and that was probably what I would say for big collabs I'd want to do. If I had to pick one, I'm not sure. I'd honestly just want to get all those people together again and do like a big video or something. I don't know. I mean, all those people were like my dream people to be in a video with and interact with and now that's happened. So it's like, what the hell? Like, that's crazy. How have you exploded in popularity over the last few years? I don't think I've exploded in popularity. I definitely wouldn't say that, especially compared to some of the newer uh, generation FNAF creators on the platform. I mean, I've been doing this for five years. I think we've steadily grown over time and I, and I like, I like that. I don't know. I've just been kind of doing the same stuff I've been doing for the past couple of years. And I think it's, I think it's worked out well. There's a character I'd want removed from FNAF altogether. If I could add any more screen time for any non animatronic character, which one would it be other than Afton? Well, the second question, I'd definitely say Henry. We know basically nothing about the dude besides his like big speeches and pizza sim. I, I would love some backstory about him. Remove for, if I could remove a character from FNAF, um, who would it be? I'm not sure. <laughs> Scrap Trap? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I'd probably say like Scrap Trap or The Blob. Just because The Blob was handled pretty poorly, I wish they had done him done my boy a bit better and scrap trap is well he's scrap trap with a huge push for spring trap and dead by daylight here we go do you think there's actually a decent shot of it happening or do you think that ship has sailed also what's your personal take on the whole matter <coughs> well like i said i don't play dead by daylight but i know a lot of people are trying to push for fnaf in dead by daylight i think do i think it could happen maybe but also at the same time probably not because scott hasn't said anything about collabs since like i think it was 2020 and he said yeah no collabs this year so because we haven't heard anything since then i'm more leaning towards n no fnaf collabs ever happening but i think if someone can like change scott's mind or convince him enough i think he can definitely see the benefits of collaborating with some other games if there's any fnaf merch that you want what is it and if it's the withers choose something else well if it's not the withers i'll just go with the toys because we haven't still still haven't gotten the toys or actually no it's uh, a second wave of security breach stuff with like gregory and vanessa and uh, and uh burn trap and the daycare attendant but it seems like we're getting a second wave of mystery minis anyway so i'm hoping those characters are going to be in the mystery mini wave. Who's your favorite character from SB? Who's your favorite Pop Goes character? Oh my gosh, and how am I doing today? Well, I'm, I'm a little tired today. It's a little cold outside, so <laughs> I guess it's finally turning fall in September. Here we go. Favorite SB character? I'd probably say like DJ Music Man or the daycare attendant or Vanessa. Um, not in a weird way. Favorite Pop Goes character? I'd say like Stone or Pop Goes or Sarah Saffron not in a weird way. If you were to change any part of the FNAF games, what would you change? I'd make it so that Security Breach and Help Wanted and FNAF AR started a brand new timeline. Or maybe not a new timeline, but a brand new story. Make it separate from the past and start a new one. It just makes the most sense. If you could change anything about the FNAF Funko line, what would you do? I think a lot of people here would say stop with recolors. I'm personally a bit of a fan of the recolors. These guys finally came in. I got all the tie-dye ones. They look good, in my opinion. You can see Chica and Bonnie down there. Uh, but I like the black lights. I like the spring colorways. I'm not too hateful on recolors. But I do wish they would actually listen to the fans and actually, you know, do merchandise that fans want. Like the withers and the toys and more statues. Hell, we, we still haven't seen the Foxy and Lefty statues that got leaked, like, earlier this year. What made you join the FNAF community in the first place? Well, my friend introduced me to FNAF a, shortly after the first game came out. We didn't, I didn't get to see much when he showed it to me, so I went up online and I looked it up, and then I was hooked ever since, after having several nightmares, because I was young. If you were to make a FNAF fan game, what would it be about? Well, funny you mention that. Who knows? You know, not, not saying anything, but I do have a few ideas. Though it is very annoying. I'm, I'm working on a tester fan game right now, and I don't know what happened. I guess I did something, and now nothing works in the game, and I've had to restart from scratch. So I'm having a blast. If you had the chance to do an audio interview with Scott Cawthon, would you accept it? Or do you think everything that has been said has already been said? We, uh, who, who wouldn't accept an interview with Scott? I don't care if everything's been solved, you know, like <laughs> 10 years down the line. I'm still going to talk with Scott. That's, you know, an incredible opportunity that I definitely take up. If you could have any FNAF animator get their own YouTube figure, who would it be?
me. If you could add a piece of cut content back into SB, what would it be and why? Probably maybe one of the scrapped like arcade games. Those were fun. Fully animated cutscenes. Those could look cool. More Vanny. <laughs> Uh, more explanation with Vanessa, stuff like that. With and without the bugs, what do you think of Security Breach in the end? I enjoyed it. I know that's a pretty unpopular opinion nowadays, but I liked it. I really enjoy the game. I have a lot of fantastic memories with the game. Warning, many questions. Oh boy, here we go. Favorite and least favorite FNAF characters. My favorite has been the Mangle. Uh, you can stop asking that question now. Least favorite? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Any other horror franchises you play other than FNAF? Yeah, I'd say probably the uh, most popular or the most um, well-known one I play, the one that I've played the most of, is the Resident Evil franchise. Freaking love that series. Any characters you want to smash? Maybe. What fanverse game are you most excited for, excluding any that have released? Okay, so no Flumpties, which... Okay, no Pop Goes Arcade, which Pop Goes Arcade sweep. I'd say right now it's probably plus, because that's the one we've seen the most of so far. Um... T-Jock's getting up there. I'm getting excited with T-Jock because Nixon keeps revealing more stuff. Candies 4, I'm always hyped for, but we just don't know a whole lot about it. And Evergreen, I'm always hyped for. But since we do get so much, sometimes it's like, you know, like this is a lot. It's difficult to process just how much we get. But I'm looking forward to all of them. But right now it's mainly plus. Predictions for the FNAF movie plot. I feel like it's just going to be FNAF 1 but kind of dragged out for a movie, obviously. I would like it to be based off the books, but, and by books, I mean like the Charlie trilogy, but I think that's kind of an unpopular opinion, and I don't think it's gonna happen. What kind of music do you listen to? Only the best. FNAF. <laughs> Sorry, I can't even try to say that with a straight face. It's such a bad joke. Uh, I don't know. It's usually just whatever is on the radio. Uh, listen to a lot of... 2000s early 2010s music because that's kind of what i grew up with that was all the questions <laughs> thanks anyone for uh submitting one if you did thanks for watching the video if you didn't and just wanted to check out the video i guess i'll see you next year for another q a well, that's gonna do it for now thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all on the flip side goodbye